Hello singing friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm gonna to be doing a patron reaction request. This comes from Michael Gehrman. He asked me to look at the band Gry with their song Darkness With Me. The band Gry is a mixture of heavy metal and traditional Russian instrumentation. I've reacted to a few of their songs before. I really like them. They're super unique. And Michael was kind enough to include the lyrics for me, so I'm going to read them to you. They are cold sickle of the moon through the veins, the world swayed and faded away, snow bites into your knees, blizzard in a dream, the voice subsides, from the chest into the darkness, birds are torn, pain subsided in silence, I forgot my loved ones giving flesh to winter, a farewell groan will not break from the lips of frozen blue, whitened the frost with a veil, wax of a drooping head, I was looking for a meeting with you among the traces of hungry flocks. Hold me tight and don't give it back alive. Very cool, very dark. I always really appreciate their winter imagery. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan of winter as, as I probably have talked about before. It is currently winter, it is currently very, very cold and snowing outside, but I think it's really beautiful to observe when you're not in the snow. <laughs> And I know that Russia can get very, very cold. So um, I think it's really beautiful how they incorporate the imagery of winter and that darkness into their songwriting. All right, so let's jump right in. As always, I'm gonna pause at least once so I don't get flagged or blocked, but I'll put the link to the uninterrupted video in the description box below, as well as the two ways that you can get me to react to a specific song or artist and the links to the courses that I teach, or if you want to contact me for a one-on-one -on -one lesson. All right, so without further ado, let's check out Gry Darkness With Me.
has a really, really beautiful, powerful voice. And it's funny, I just did a reaction to the Wagaki band and their particular style of singing with the flip, you know, going from the head voice to chest voice and from the chest voice to head voice and not smoothing out that transition and using that as a stylistic choice. And she's using that in her singing as well. Um, she's got a really, really beautiful, powerful, compelling, arresting voice. It's, it's really, really unique. And I also just like the sonic palette that they've set up here with that distorted guitar and then the like jangly upper register guitar and then the beautiful flute playing. As I've mentioned, my son is playing flute, so <laughs> I really want to introduce him to this band because I think that it could be really inspiring for him to see how you could incorporate an instrument like the flute into um, contemporary music that has more of like a, a popular appeal, you know, rather than just band or orchestra. But yeah, this is really, really beautiful and definitely dark. You know, you can tell that it's a dark subject that they're singing about just from like how the, um, just from the composition, you know, from the chord changes and the melody and everything. So I think it's really, really beautiful. So that was Irina singing and she has just such a beautiful voice. And I really, really love um, the this melody, particularly the rhythm and how legato she's singing, you know? So everything is like either quarter notes or half notes. It's like very, very slow, um, the singing, even though there's a lot of movement in the guitars. Um, but I love that the the melody of the voice is moving very slowly and very deliberately by step. There aren't a lot of intervallic jumps, you know, and then just the intensity with which she sings and that like animalistic roar that she ends on is really, really cool. But I love that melody, the da da da. of big skips you know it keeps moving very very steadily everything is very legato meaning that it's not like broken up you know it's like very very smooth the way that she's singing um and yet it still has like a lot of intensity and almost a lot of jagged edges even though there, she isn't taking any like pauses or putting any commas in you know um her intensity of delivery and even just her the way that she's sitting her body language the way that she looks at the camera everything is like very intense and very arresting so that was beautiful. And um, on guitar is Roosevelt, on flute is Alia, and on acoustic guitar is Daniel. I thought they did a beautiful job. It's amazing that you can have such a simple video like this. Looks like it's shot in their homes. It's just four split screen, black and white. And it's so compelling, you know, because the music is so gorgeous. And I love that they're also like recording as they're, um, as they're filming. You know, you can see the waveforms behind um, I guess Roosevelt um, on the computer, you can see that they're like recording it into a, 
recording software as well. So it's cool that you kind of feel like you're like part of the process and it's almost like this behind the scenes kind of intimate video. So I thought that was really, really cool. I loved the darkness and the intensity. And um, I just think she has a gorgeous voice, really, really compelling and lovely. So thank you for the recommendation, Michael. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I'll see you guys here next time. Until then, take care. And of course, happy singing. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I want you to tell, tell the camera what you think. It's really good. Yeah, does it make you want to play in a rock band? No. With your flute? <laughs> Maybe? Well, kind of, but mostly no. Mostly no? All right, get out of here. <laughs>